One name comes up a lot when people talk about Tesla stock's amazing price history and the factors that affected buying and selling over the past five years. This is Kathy Wood. Kathy Wood has been able to accurately guess the price of Tesla stock since the company went public, or IPO. Kathy Wood used to have a lot of faith in the company and be a smart investor, but lately she's been selling her Tesla stocks. Through her company, ARK Investment, Kathy Wood sold more than 33,000 of her Tesla shares. Kathy has been telling us not to do this. She recently said that Tesla stock would go up to around $3,000. So, why does she want to sell? If you're bullish on Tesla, what does this mean? Does she see something that other people don't? Keep listening to find out. ARK Investment Management is a fund based in New York that had more than $41 billion in assets at the end of the third quarter of 2021. Kathy Wood is the executive director of the fund. Over the years, Wood has made a name for himself by investing in new, fast-growing businesses. ARK ETFs run by Kathy Wood have sold more Tesla stock in the new year and bought more Palantir and Teladoc shares as they try to get back on track after a rough 2021. Because of this, we know that a lot of investors are interested in why Kathy Wood sold her shares so quickly and for a good price, as reported in her trade newsletter. The expert stock picker sold more Tesla stock as it rose after the company reported huge sales in the fourth quarter. The company sold 39,262 shares, which were worth about $45 million, from two of our ETFs at the beginning of January. Even so, the company that makes electric cars is still the biggest bet in all three of its funds, including the main ARC Innovation ETF. This year, Wood's company sold millions of dollars worth of Tesla stock and made a lot of money. This is getting a little complicated. Wood had said before that by 2025, each Tesla share would be worth $3,000. In the past year, the stock has gone up about 57%. Also in the new year, ARK Invest ETS bought a lot of shares in Teladoc, a virtual health company whose stock price has dropped 56% in the past year. The company bought almost 80,000 shares of the company on January 3, even though none of the ARK Invest employees have given us any reason. In a blog post from December 2021, Wood said that ARK's tech companies like Teladoc are in what she calls a deep value zone. We haven't heard anything else from ARK Invest in 2022. ARK also bought shares in Palantir, the company that Peter Thiel started that does analytics. ARK bought about 442,456 shares, which were worth about $8.2 million at the start of the day on January 3rd. ARK bought 345,771 shares of the commission free trading app Robinhood and sold 359,577 shares of the social media company Twitter on the first day of the new year. Could Kathy Wood be selling Tesla stock to get a wider range of investments? In 2020, Wood became famous when her main fund made 150% gains and added more than $17 billion in assets under control in the previous year. But since then, the fund has lost about 27% of its value. Wood may be trying something new by selling her Tesla shares to make her stock more diverse. We all know that things have to change sometimes, and Kathy Wood may be doing the same thing. It's not the first time she's sold ARK, though. Since the beginning of September, when Tesla stock started to rise, Invest's exchange traded funds have been selling off their Tesla stock. This has helped Wood's fund make money. It is known that Wood sells Tesla stock when it does better than expected for a certain amount of time. Not doing so would be bad. Managing a portfolio. ARK Invest has been making money with Tesla since September 2021, when they sold more than $3 billion worth of shares. After buying shares in the electric car company for many years at much lower prices, ARK Invest by Kathy Wood has been doing this for a while now. The sale didn't start this year, and it looks like the goal is to diversify the stock. As an example, ARK Invest sold Tesla shares in November to get a bigger stake. The ARK Innovation ETF sold $136 million worth of Tesla shares and bought $112 million worth of Zoom in the ARK Next Generation Internet ETF 
after the bad performance of the video communications company. In October 2021, the fund sold $23 million worth of Tesla stock to buy $22 million worth of Zoom stock. Kathy Wood, ARC, Invest sold a huge amount of Tesla stock, more than $600 million worth, to spend more on failing companies like Coinbase and Robin. She did this to further her strong belief that disruptive technology will lead to better lives. ARC's daily transaction records show that the business fund sold another 381,000 shares of Tesla that month, for a total value of about $297 million. This was despite growing doubt on Wall Street, after a lot of people bought Teslas that year. The sales have been going on for a while now. Wood said she loves trading stocks because they are always changing prices. She buys when prices are low and sells when she thinks prices will go down. Investors might be worried about what she said last because she doesn't think Tesla's stock price will go down. What does maintaining mean? And her hope that Tesla would make $3,000 cars by 2025. Tesla did pretty well in 2021, when it delivered over 936,000 electric cars, and 2022 should be even better. Tesla has had a great year. They bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and teamed up with Hertz, which helped the company hit a market value of $1 trillion. After being able to handle problems in the supply chain better than any of its competitors, which led to high delivery rates, Musk sold billions of shares in 2021. Without a doubt, the car maker made all the news. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, said that he was almost done selling stocks. Since early November, he has sold more than $15 billion worth of company shares. The investor has given different answers about whether or not he reached his goal of selling 10% of his Tesla shares by November 6, 2021. Musk said he would sell 10% of his share if people on Twitter agreed. Tesla stock, which was getting close to all-time highs, lost almost a quarter of its value soon after Elon Musk used his options, which were set to end later this year so that he could pay taxes. Musk moved the company's offices from California to Texas in 2021 and said that California had too many rules and taxes. Many analysts think that 2022 will be good for Tesla. The stock of the electric car company could go up almost 30% because demand has been growing in China over the last six months. Musk and Tesla have handled problems with chip supplies better than any other car company in the world. This is why Tesla is in a great situation going into 2022, which will be a turning point year. Now everything is in place for electric cars to take a big step forward in getting people to accept them as part of this green wave. China is a big part of the Tesla bull thesis because it will receive 40% of all electric vehicles made by the company in 2022. This will be the biggest change in the car industry since the 1950s and many people will benefit from it. It's the biggest market for high-end luxury cars, with lots of the best Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Porsche, and other brands' cars sold there. Wood said in her company's most recent study that Tesla's share of the electric car market would go down as more electric cars came out. Regardless, Tesla's share of worldwide sales of electric cars is staying the same or going up, which gives ARC even more confidence in the company. GM, on the other hand, sold 44,697 units in the third quarter of 2021, which is 218,000. 195 units less than the same time last year. We think Tesla will do well there. The lack of chip components is still a problem for Tesla and other cars, but it will only last for a short time. The second thing that will help Tesla do well in 2022 is the opening of the new gigafactories in Berlin and Austin. By the end of 2022, these factories will be able to make more cars than Tesla can make now. So Tesla should be able to make close to 2 million units a year. In 2021, worries about the supply chain slowed Tesla's overall unit growth, but things should get a lot better in the future, and by 2022, they might be able to make 1.4 to 1.5 million units a year. Tesla also wants to grow by making a lot of these 4680 battery cells at its gigafactories in Texas and Berlin. Even so, the car company is still buying as many battery cells from sellers as it can.
We think that the way it makes cells in 2022 will change everything. Tesla thinks it will grow by 50% in the next few years, and it might even grow even faster in the next two. This growth will be in both volume and income, and the margins will keep going up. You can never bet against Elon Musk, of course. Tesla is working on a number of products and projects that can help them reach their goals. Why do you think Kathy Wood is selling her Tesla stock? Leave a comment below.